All right, guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that montage. Now, my question for you is, how much do you think the lens cost that we used to get those montage clips? Now, I'm about to show you guys some photos that we took. I want you guys to pause the video and comment down below how much you think the lens that we used cost for the videos and the photos that I'm about to show you. Let me know. Oh, and while you're down there, hit that like button. All right, check it out. All right, guys, that should be enough time. Now, if you commented anything over $125, you are wrong. Today's video, we are talking about Canon's 50 millimeter 1.8. A lot of us call it the nifty 50. This is one of the most cost-effective lenses you can get for cost versus the quality you can get out of it. And to show you guys that, I've got some buddies coming over. We are gonna go out and I'm going to challenge myself. I can only use the little nifty 50, both for photo and for video. So I got some buddies coming over. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get in and let's see what kind of quality of photos and videos we can get out of just this sweet, sweet little lens. Buckle up, boys. Bye. What's going on guys? Uh, as you can tell, the weather is fantastic today. Another great day on the Chase channel. Uh, so we've got Christian here. Christian, thank you for being our uh, subject vehicle person. He has a cool looking Mustang. So pan to Mustang. Pan back to us. So uh, we got the Nifty 50 on the Canon EOS R, which is a pretty budget setup. So we're gonna go see what we can do, the weather is never good for us on this channel, but we're gonna make the absolute best of it. We do have some pretty overcast, but we're gonna try not to get rained on too much. So we're gonna go real quick. Uh, let me show you what we're gonna film inside the car. I've even got my weather jacket on. Uh, we have the Insta360 ONE X2 here on the side to grab some overall stuff. We got just that suction cup to the car. And then here on the windscreen, I don't know if you can see it, we have a GoPro Hero 8 because I imagine, mm -hmm. um, I imagine to get cool shots of this car, I'm gonna have to hang out of it. Well, I'm gonna have to hang out of this car to get cool shots of that car. Uh, we'll find out in today's episode of Drag. Let's go. All right, guys. Uh, so we are going to get the GoPro going. So we gotta sync these two guys up. GoPro's going 4K24. It is raining and I've never filmed with the Insta360 in the rain, so I don't know if that's gonna mess up the stitching, but we'll find out in the edit because that's what you do, right? Okay, so, all right, let's go get photos. Right, guys we just got off the highway and uh everything seems to look cool i haven't looked at any of the photos but you guys have probably seen them at this point so uh that's our little roller section we came to uh this baseball stadium to do some more photos i'm going to grab some video of the car we just got to figure out where to do it uh, i'm going to put the nifty 50 on the r5 that you guys are on right now grab some slow-mo shots we're going to keep grabbing photos with the uh, eos r and see what happens so uh, we'll take you guys along with it So we're gonna try to get the park thing in the background so we can have some like, we know where the photo was taken and everything. That's gonna be our first test. And it'll be able to show you guys with a 1.8, how much you can actually get in focus in a shot. Because one of the things about having a 1.8 is you can have a lot of bokeh in the background. So best case scenario, you can't even tell the park.
Oh, it looks so good. You gonna ruin the shot? Yeah. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> of course you are. Why wouldn't you? Yes. Please tag true as part. <laughs> 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 So that was really cool. Check it out. <laughs> Not a patty one. But... <laughs> Not a patty. Oh. Yeah. So you, you can't you can't even tell it says Braves behind you. No. Uh. So let's. Uh, I want to do the straight on, but the cars suck. So I need to figure out a way to not see all the cars in the background. So let's back up and you come straight at me right here. And okay. what I'm trying to do is block out from the Hyundai to the Camaro. That's the goal. Okay. So if you can come straight at me right here, yeah. I think we should do that. I don't know if we'll get the truest park stuff, but I would rather get a cool, uh, like, head-on shot. Oh, look at you. Yeah, let's go blue now. We'll Just a shade of blue. You want? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, Braves blue. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Braves blue. You see the flex, right? You see the, oh, what shade of blue? Mm. I got mm. aqua, teal, mm. royal. What are we doing, Chase? We... So, uh, we'll show you guys the cars behind Christian in a second, but having cars in the background just makes it look like, oh, you guys are just in a parking lot taking photos? We want it to look like, like we rented the place out. You know what I mean? We're trying to look bougie. Yeah. There you so, go. We got our cool side shot that was all centered with the park thing. Uh, yeah, the park label showed the front. Now I want to try to get that at the Roxy Stop. thing. Oh, okay, yeah. You wait till we call you, and the move will be, we'll be set up, Patrick will be set up on me, I'll be set up where I need you to be. Okay. If you see me like at this parking spot, you're gonna do a slow roll on, and just stop right there, and I'll be ready to take as many photos as I can. And just yeah. click, 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 click. Yeah, so by the yeah. time you're coming in, I'll already have my framing ready to go. Um, Master, will you kick that piece of black rubber into in existence? Thank you. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll put this camera down and we'll just walk in low key because we are on private property. These people can't ask us to leave and we have to say yes very nicely. So what it's going to be is me and you trying to be as low key as possible until the moment. You know as I mean? I'm standing here filming you as we walk through a parking yeah, lot so towards I, the building. So we're going to put this camera down and then we'll we'll try to grab a couple a couple shots down here. Okay, what's the thought process here, Chase? Um, so for some reason they didn't uh, line the Roxy up with this walk path. And I wanted him to be on the walk path and get the rock scene background, but that's just not going to happen. Also, dude, dead pixel day. Oh my goodness. Yeah, rip. Uh, what I'm going to get him to do is park slightly in front of this Mercedes, and that way, if I position myself correctly, I should be able to block the Mercedes out, and we should have this cool, like, Coca-Cola, Roxy, Mustang, us. We've got some cool foreground elements that will really show off the low aperture. So let's call him and tell him to park a few steps in ahead of the, uh, the Mercedes so we can try to block it out. And I'll go ahead and start prepping up where I need to be. Okay, you're good. All right, so we're gonna go back to the same place. Okay, that worked out pretty well. I honestly expected to be asked to leave out of this area. No, they're generally pretty cool about it. You think so? Yeah. Huh. So now we gotta go find a cool place to get the video on the R5. Yeah. Uh, so we're at the top parking deck, which is beautiful because nobody's here. Uh, so we're gonna do video test. I'm gonna put the Nifty 50 on the R5, do some 4K 60 shots of the Mustang and uh, see what we can get. Slider or not, I would get the shot I want. The human slider, like the human spider. 
<laughs> what if I was, if my superpower was the human slider, I would just do like this, and it would just be like, <laughs> and I would just be just like, the camera would just. So I want to get a photo real quick of the tail lights because they look cool up here. But then, how close yes. can we get? Yes, I do. Oh, Somebody got a beer. Can we touch him? He's not real. <laughs> Look at this man's. Look at this man's. Look at that face. That's so sexy. It's hot. That's your photographer face, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Leg for stability. Alright, hopefully he'll come back up. Rip, Chase is dead. Yes. That was good. I like that. I don't know what else we need. All right. All right. One more potentially sketchy thing. Let's try us here, Christian there, all hang out the back of the Jeep and get a shot of the car rolling. I mean, we're yeah. going to die. Okay guys, in truly perfect timing, uh, it's now actually starting to rain. We have somehow got to do all of this stuff without it raining. I don't know how that happened, but we've got all the stuff filmed. I think I got all the photos, videos and stuff. We're gonna head back to the shop, check it out and uh, see how the little nifty 50 did. Got Christian behind me. All right, let's go before it gets too wet. Later. Okay guys, so it's the next day. I've had time to sit down and edit the photos we got and edit the video together. I've got to say, I am so happy and surprised at how well this little lens has held up. Now, to be clear, I've had this lens for over a decade, and while I used it a lot right when I got it, and now it kind of just sits in the shelf just in case I need it, my wife and I do wedding photography, and I take this lens with us every wedding just in case something happens to her 50L lens. But the fact that this thing has held up for so long and gets that quality for only $125, man, I can happily say, any of you guys out there that have asked me, what are some of the entry level gear I need to get? You need to get yourself a Nifty 50. You are not going to be able to get better quality for a cheaper price, regardless of the camera you have. Whether you have a Sony, a GH series, or something like that, or Canon itself, most cameras can adapt to a 50 millimeter EF lens. I highly recommend this lens if you guys are looking for something cost effective, but can get you really good quality. But yeah, guys, that's it for the Canon 50 millimeter Nifty 50. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do us a favor and hit that like button if you haven't already. And let us know in the comments, what video should we make next? All right, guys, so it's the end of the video. So I'm gonna go through my last video and find a suggestion that I think would make a solid video. Uh, so if you guys haven't seen it, the last video I did was the Pro GoPro settings that you should be using. Uh, pretty awesome video if you are using a GoPro and you wanna get the best quality out of it. But uh, I saw a cool comment from the Gorilla Biker. Uh, he, ha he says, uh, suggestion, I have a Canon M50, which is a phenomenal starter camera, and mainly use a Sigma 16 millimeter with it. Any suggestions on the best other lens to get with it? Or what's the best type of lens for all-in-one filming in the garage situation and use a mirrorless camera? So, Gorilla Biker, I like your idea. We'll have to add that to the list. Guys, I'll see you on the next one. Later.